Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Coding with Haya. In our today's video, we will learn how to make a bubble pop game. Here, as you see, in a bubble pop game, you will have an underwater backdrop with bunch of bubble pop. And once you click them, the score will increase. Then I'll hover my mouse pointer to choose the backdrop button and click on it. Click on the underwater tab over here and then click on underwater one background. And then make two custom backdrops for when you win and lose. And also in this video, I will teach you how to make a 3D text on square. First, click on this button called Convert to Bitmap and the color of the backdrop you want. I'll choose blue. Click on the fill tool and then click on the state. Then convert back to it. Then we start making our 3D text. Set the color to black. Change the font if you want. I'll choose the handwriting one. Click somewhere on the stage and write your text. Then you see a point in the middle. Drag the text a little left then the point. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy and paste. And or click on the selecting tool or press and press copy and then paste. Simple and easy. Change the color to white and drag it in the middle. Right click on the backdrop icon and press duplicate. And then change the text to last. Go to the coding area. Go to variables and Make a new variable called score. Right click on a my variable named variable and click on delete the my variable. When we will flat click from events and a set backdrop to underwater and block from looks. Then name the backdrops win w and last l. You can choose any other table too. Then let's start drawing for our bubble. First, hold your mouse pointer to the choose spread button and click on paint. Then let's start paint. Set the outline to zero. Click on the circle tool. And then set the color to blue. And set this and then the saturation should be very light. Then draw a circle and then drag it to the middle. Control and scroll in to zoom easily. Click on the brush tool and set the color to white. Then make a curved line and a dot on the top left side of the bubble. I'm sharing the project I'm making so that if you have any problems, you can check the link given in the description below. You can remix, add more bubbles, uh, lives, and many more. When we select click from events, go to motions and go to X and Y block. So set the Y to 160 and from operators up to per annum 1 to 10 block inside the X block. And change it to negative 240 to 240. Also, I'll change y by 10 block and change it to negative 5. From controls, add a repeat until loop and drag the change y by negative 5 block. Drag it to a low position and go to operator less than so that if the bubble is lower than the position right now, you will loop. Go to motions and add a white position block on the left side and write your white position on the right side. Mine is negative 149. Go to looks and add a set backdrop to backdrop L, which is last backdrop, and drag it under the repeat and repeat until loop. When this part click from events. Separate the one green flat click block from the repeat until loop and right click on the go to x and y block and press duplicate and drag it under the when this part click block. Go to controls and add a repeat loop and write the numbers of clone you want by minus one because the bubble sprite will also be come. Also, I create clone myself block inside the repeat loop. Right click on the repeat until loop and press duplicate. Add a when I start as a clone block and drag the repeat until loop under the when I start as a clone block. When green flag click from events, from controls, a forever loop, and if done. Separate the code X and Y block under 
the wind is quickly and drag it under the when I started the clone bar. And also delete the wind is From sensing, touching mouse pointer and mouse jump. Go to operators and if you don't know what does the condition if touching mouse pointer and mouse down means, it means the same as when the square click block from events. But as you see, when the square click block even works without the green flag click. The start button. But now you need to make this work only when the green flag is clicked. So then you need to use this condition. Separate the when green flag click. Separate the go to X and Y block from the repeat. Right click on the go to X and Y block and press duplicate and drag it inside the if then loop. Go to controls and add a forever loop and right click on the then Y by negative forever. Drag it inside the forever loop. Drag an if then loop and drag the Y position is less than negative 149 block. And drag the switch backdrop to L back block inside the if then loop. Delete the repeat until loop. Delete everything that is under the when I start as a clone block. And delete the forever loop. And drag the if then loop inside the forever loop under the when green flag click. Drag the repeat loop on the top. Go to looks and add a show block on top. Right click on the show block and press duplicate and drag it under the when I start as a clone block. Go to controls and add a wait 1 second and change it to 0 0.2 seconds. Drag it inside the repeat loop and delete the repeat loop under the when I start as a clone block. Then let's check our project out. Our game is almost done, but we need the score to increase every time we pop bubbles. So then go to variables and add a set score to zero block under when green flag click. And also grab a change score by one block inside the two is touching mouse pointer and mouse download. Now you need to make sure that you need to switch the backdrop to the win backdrop when you win and the last backdrop when you lose. Home controls a forever loop and a then loop. Go to operators greater than and is equal to. Go back to controls and add a if then loop and stack it under the previous if then loop. Drag the greater than and is equal to on the if then loop. Go to variables and Drag two score variables on the left side. So then, at what score do you want to win? Our example, 150. So that if the score is 150 or greater than 150, you win. You can choose any other number too. I'll choose 150. Go to looks and add a switch backdrop to win backdrop and add two of them. Drag them inside the if then loop. Go to Go to the bubble add a broadcast message on block inside the if y position is less than negative 149 and add a when I receive message one block and looks a high block. Controls forever loop and delete this clone and drag the delete this clone and say the if y position is less than negative 149 block. From looks, add a switch backdrop to backdrop 1 block. From controls, a stop all block. Grab the stop all block and the height block inside the y position is less than negative 149 block. And then delete the when I receive message 1 block and also the broadcast message 1. Subscribe, like, share and ring the bell below so that you don't miss any of my cool videos. Bye bye and see you in my next video.